Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Mount May Creations. I am Jill and we are going to be making some kitchen towels today with sublimation. So super excited. Um, so welcome you guys to my page. If you are new here, comment. Let me know where you're watching from. If you're catching this on YouTube, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any future videos. All right, so we're just going to get right in with it. We're going to be making some really cute sublimation um, kitchen towels. I did this one a few minutes ago just to test because I have not made these before, but y'all look how pretty this turned out. So these are kitchen towels. These are the white um, waffle knit or waffle polyester kitchen towels, and they are super good towels, but um, they turned out so good. So we're going to make a couple of these and that's all we're going to do today. So anyway, happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Now, see, I've been using these towels in my kitchen. It's the same basic towel, and these are good for absorbent, um, really good towels for your kitchen, and they are going to be so pretty. Um, I love the sunflowers. I think they're so pretty. So, you know, we're going to have a bird in the mix because, you know, I'm all about those birds. <laughs> all right, so we're going to get started. So first of all, you're going to need a heat press, which I have my um, clamshell heat press here. You're going to need some parchment paper, some heat resistant tape, um, the towels, of course, and they're polyester, 100% polyester. And you're going to need some designs. These are printed on sublimation paper using sublimation ink. Um, I have the Epson F170. I believe it's the 170. It was a, it is a sublimation printer. I did not convert one, even though you can but I was a little afraid to do that because I didn't know what settings to put them at and all that. I just wanted to get a sublimation printer. So these are some designs that I have printed out on that sublimation printer using sublimation ink. And you're going to need some parchment paper too. I don't know if I said that already. So we're going to take, this towel is 16 by 24, not folded. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to heat it for 10 seconds first to get any moisture out. But what I'm gonna do is fold it where I want the design so then I have the press lines so I know exactly where to put the design. So so I'm gonna fold this over and let me put you down so you can see. Um, I want the towel is gonna to be eight inches wide where the design's at. So that's how I knew how to size the designs on the towel. So I have this one folded over um, in the back, just like this one, and it's eight inches where the design is. So um, that's a that's how I know how to size the designs when I print them out to fit on the towels. So I'm just gonna measure, make sure I have it at eight inches in width, which it is. And these towels are um, 16 inches wide, so four four makes the eight. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it over like so. And then I'm going to make sure that I still have my eight inches before I do anything else. And then I'm going to press it just like this. And then when I unfold it, it'll have those pressed marks. So I'll know exactly where to put the design when I lay it down on the towel. And I'm just making sure that it's eight inches wide so that my design will fit right here in this space. And it is going to be um, 12 inches long. The towel is 24 inches, so 12 inches folded in half. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put some parchment paper on top of it. I'm gonna put it under the heat press for 10 seconds. I'm counting because I didn't set the timer for 10 seconds. Okay. All right, so when we press it with the design, it's going to be at 380 degrees for 55 seconds is what I did the other one at. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to take the lint roller and roll over that. Now, you when you press it, it's probably going to make some of the little waffles 
flat, but when you go over it with a lint roller, it kind of brings them back up so they're not so flat. And if they, if it like burns in your heat press any at all, you can reduce the time and pressure. I think I'm gonna, and you wanna get the lint off of it really good because if you don't, then you could have um, spots where the lint is and it'll show up in your design. So when I unfold it, you see I have the marks. So I know exactly where to place the design and I'm gonna tape it on here but I'm gonna measure it first to make sure that I have the, the right width. And it is eight. All right, so I'm gonna take this first design and I'm gonna trim it up a little bit. And you can rip the, um, a lot of people have just torn the edges. That way it doesn't leave such a press mark where the paper was, but just be sure not to tear your, um, any where the ink is. And this is just going to keep it from leaving a mark. Almost ripped it. Almost ripped it. I have done it both ways. And when I pressed a shirt without tearing the edges, it, it was fine. So you can do this or you don't, you don't have to. It's totally up to you. All right, so here is what we have. And so I'm gonna lay it down and I wanna press this not folded. So when I put the um, design down on here, it's not folded up, it's unfolded. So that's how you wanna press it. So we're gonna put the design face down onto the towel and you make sure and mirror the um, design. My printer does it for me, um, so I don't really have to worry about that as much. And I just about made these too long, my designs, but that's okay. I think it's going to work fine. And um, also, when you're printing your designs for a shirt or a towel, it's a textile. So you need to change your setting to a textile setting and not rigid, like for the earrings, the ornaments, the slates, anything hard like that is gonna be rigid setting, and this is textile. So I'm gonna tape this down, and I'm gonna tape it pretty good because it's a little tricky when I go to put it on the heat press. I mean, if you have like a, a um, swing away, it's a lot easier. You can put, probably put it on your heat press and then um, tape it down, but since I'm showing you guys, I'm gonna do it like this. And I'm gonna put some parchment paper down on the um, heat press, and then I'm gonna put a piece on top. That just covers any color blowout. You don't wanna get it on your flatten on your um, heat press because then it'll transfer over on the next design. It's just like that. see the heat press. All right, so now I'm just going to take this and put it over on the heat press. And I'm going to leave the bottom part hanging out of it. So there, I have that in the heat press like this. And then I'm going to put some parchment paper over it. And then I'm going to press it. And it's medium pressure. I didn't say that before, it's medium pressure. So we'll go ahead and get the next towel ready. Um, we're going to do them all the same way. I'm going to um, fold them how I want them. And then I'll press them to get that any moisture out of it and then to get those press marks so I know exactly where to put the design on there. So, hey guys, hey Lori, hey Wilma, how are you guys doing today? I hope y'all are having a good St. Patrick's Day. All right, so now I'm just 
folding it over. I'm going to measure again to make sure it's eight inches just to be on the safe side because it does unfold a little bit when you move it around. And if I don't have it at the right measurement, my design won't fit. All right, that's good. So I'm gonna set this to the side. And heat protective gloves is always a good thing to have. All right, so now we're just gonna remove this. Ah, oh, you guys. That is so pretty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, run the lint roller over it to bring up some of the, the waffle that's flattened. I'm going to bring that, and it just brings them right back up where the heat press flattens the little waffles a little bit. And it just brings them right back up. And I don't see any kind of lines going around it. It looks really good, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and fold it back so you can see it. These will make great Mother's Day gifts, you guys. Uh, Mother's Day is coming up. Easter's coming up. So these will be really cute gifts. We can also... How sweet is that? Loves the main ingredient. Y'all, these are so pretty. Um, but these would be pretty if you wanted to put a picture on one. I don't know about using a kitchen towel for that, but you could if you wanted to. Like if you had a bunch of guineas and you loved them and you want your kitchen to have guineas in them, you could do that. Okay. So there's this one. So now we have two sunflowers. This turned out really good. So I have my, um, I know now that I have my pressure and my heat set just where I need them to be. So I'm gonna put this under here. Let me change my timer. And I'm gonna um, press it for 10 seconds. And that's going to get any moisture out and also give you those lines to go by when you're pressing it. So it's super easy, you guys. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lint roll it where I just pressed it to get those waffles up. It's hot, hot, hot. And then I'm going to unfold it, put the design on there, but we're going to let it cool for a minute because I don't want the design to start... Um, process them before I'm ready for it. So there we have our um, our fold marks on there so we know exactly where to put the design. And so you want to lint roll it really good to get any lint off of it, like I said earlier, because it'll show up on your design. You'll have like little specks in the design and they won't come off. So it's an important step to do. Anytime you're doing any kind of, really any sublimation, you want to go with the lint roller because um, it does that with anything, earrings or anything. Okay, so we got that pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and get this design. Look how sweet that is with the bee on there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut, trim it off a little bit. And I'll go ahead and rip some of that off. Just to make sure there's no lines on there. Just be sure not to tear anywhere the design is. These are so easy to make. Oh my goodness. And I'm always looking for something different to do for sublimation. So I'm really liking this. And I did get the towels from um, Johnson Plastics 
plus. I can put their link in the comments. I love their blanks. They have some really good um, sublimation blanks and the quality is amazing. So we're gonna put the design on the towel face down, the design against the towel, and then we're gonna tape it. So I did this one a little bit better in my sizing. The other two, I had them pretty big and they were almost too big. And I'm taping this down pretty good because I'm gonna pick it up and move it and I don't want it to um, shift any. And this is heat resistant tape. And you probably don't have to put this much tape on there, but I'm only doing this because I'm gonna be moving it and I don't wanna mess that up. All right, so I'm gonna put some parchment paper down on the heat press and then on top of the design. I'm not reusing the parchment paper just because I don't want, if there was any color blowout on there that I couldn't see, I don't want that transferring onto this towel. So we're gonna put it in there for 55 seconds. At 380 degrees for um, 55 seconds. So I'm gonna transfer this over here. That. And the pressure is medium. I think I said that earlier. Medium pressure. So I'm really pleased with how these towels are turning out. Um, the, the colors are just so vibrant on the polyester and the white. You could use a different color, but I would use a light color if you um, decide to do a different color towel, but these are so pretty, you guys, and these will be so cute hanging on your oven um, handle. It would be really cute in your kitchen, so I love the sunflowers, too. Sunflowers and tulips are my flower. Then we have this one we're going to do. It's a rooster. Of course, it's a bird. Um, I'll probably have to do some guinea towels for my kitchen, and be careful when you take it off um, because it will be hot. So I suggest using these um, heat protective gloves. I think these just came from Amazon. All right, so we're gonna remove this. So good you guys oh my goodness and you can see some tape marks on this but I think the lint roller will get those out but look how pretty that is you guys so so pretty so let's try the lint roller and see if that doesn't remove some of those marks where the tape was the other ones didn't do that so I'm kind of curious if they come out yes they did with the lint roller just lifts up that waffle knit and got rid of those tape marks. So as soon as you take it out of your heat press, I would start using the lint roller, getting those waffles lifted up and get any um, tape marks off of there. Now oh, these are so cute. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm gonna fold these back. How sweet is this, you guys? Look how pretty that turned out. Oh my goodness. Y'all, it is so, so pretty. So these are very good quality towels and you can use them, you can wash them. The sublimation is gonna stay on the towel because the towel is 100% polyester. So your design is not gonna fade. It's not gonna crack, peel, any of that because it's in the fabric. So it's not gonna come off. Um, I don't know if there's a tag. There is no tags, but when I purchased them, um, 
they are 100% polyester and for sublimation. So y'all, so cute. All right, so let's get the rooster done and then we'll be done. I have lots of painting to do today. I've face painted a lot of the rounds yesterday and some of the wood, the little wood signs. And so um, I've got to get those stenciled today. All right, so I'm gonna do this one the same way. I'm gonna fold it. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know. And if I don't see your comments, because sometimes I can't see comments, if you're commenting, commenting and I don't see it or I don't answer you, I'm not ignoring you, I promise. It's just sometimes Facebook is funny and you can't always see the um, comments. So just, I will answer them all as soon as I get off of here. So I'm gonna measure this to make sure it's eight inches because sometimes it comes unfolded a little bit. Whoops. All right, so that's good. So I'm gonna put parchment paper over it and heat it for 10 seconds. That's gonna take the moisture out and give you the press marks where you can put your design. And then we're gonna um, lint roll it. Then we'll place our designs on there and press them. You guys, these are so cute. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and this lint rolled and then I'll unfold it and get that design ready while it's cooling off because it's pretty hot. So you have your press marks. You can see where exactly to put your design. So there's no guesswork there. And make sure you don't skip this step because it will affect your design when you press it. I'm going to set my timer for 55 seconds. And again, it's on 380 for 55 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and tear this. And this is supposedly just to keep the straight marks, like sometimes the pa you can see the paper marks. I have not had trouble with that, so um, it should be okay but I'm gonna do it anyways, just because that's what they recommend. Now I have pressed on shirts and did not do this step and I couldn't see a, a line where the paper was. So it's really your preference um, if you wanna do this or not. Just don't tear your design. All right. So you want your design to be face down on your towel. So I'm gonna put it face down. And then I'm gonna center it up in that square where my press marks are. And I'm gonna tape it down. And I usually don't use this much tape, but since I have to pick it up and move it over there, I don't want it to shift or anything and move the design off where I've got it placed. All right, so I'm gonna put parchment paper down and then I'm gonna put parchment paper on top. Again, that just protects your heat press from any color blowout. And then we're going to press it for 55 seconds. 
and while that's going, let me just show you um, some earrings that I made. I bought some different um, blanks. These are like studs, and they turned out so cute. So these match some of the earrings that I showed uh, posted last week, but these are the like goldish yellow. And then we have the little cows. Y'all, how cute are these? So, so cute. So I have these, I'll be posting these as well. But uh, these match the other earrings that I posted last week. So, so, so cute. I just, I like to try to find different things. When I'm at my vendor events, I like to find what's oversaturated. Like I've noticed um, that the sublimation mugs and tumblers are everywhere. So I'm not going to do any of that. All right. Y'all, this is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Y'all, how pretty is that? Oh my goodness, the colors are just amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and lint roll it while it's still warm to get that waffle knit back into shape where it flattens it in the press. And if you don't have a heat press um, clamshell or anything like that, you can use um, your Cricut heat press, but because it doesn't have to have a ton of pressure, so you should be fine. I have not tried it. I've seen other people try it on theirs, and it, it was okay. All right, so that looks so good. All right, let's fold this towel. Still have my little marks. And I will post a picture of all of these when I get off of here. But you guys, how pretty is that towel? This is so pretty. This would look good in anybody's kitchen. Oh my goodness. So we have the rooster, rise and shine. Then we have the sunflowers, love is the main ingredient. Then we have home is where your honey is with the bee. And we have, this kitchen is made of joy and sunshine. And I just unfolded it, but. This was the one that I tested before I came live, just to be sure I get, get my settings right. But these have come out so pretty. Um, so if you have questions, let me know. If you've made these, I would love to see a picture. Post them on the page. And... Let me know what you think about the sublimation towels. Super easy and so pretty. Um, again, the towel blanks came from Johnson Plastics Plus. They have a big supply of all kinds of sublimation blanks. Um, and their quality is outstanding. So that is it for today, you guys. I hope that um, you found this helpful. And if you are interested in purchasing any, just reach out to me. I'll be posting them on the shopping link. Um, sometime this week. It's going to be a busy week at work, so I'll be getting off later. Um, so I'll be posting all week long. I've got door hangers, signs, towels, earrings, all that to post. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Enjoy this Sunday. Enjoy the beautiful weather, and happy St. Patrick's Day, and thanks for tuning in, and I will see you guys real soon. Y'all take care.